guys, it's Sajid Kikas here and we are back with a new ERB reaction and this time we are going back to I believe season 2 or 3 and we're getting the angry chef Gordon Ramsay versus the complete opposite, the calm, reserved, charming uh, Julia Child. So yeah guys, this is going to be a great one I'm sure. Let's jump straight into it. Oh, they've got that perfect. I mean, I've not seen much of Julia Child because she died when I was four, but I've seen pictures of her, and this is does seem to be what she's like. So, you know, Julia Child, here we go. And that's how you make a perfect risotto. Right. This is Child. Welcome to the grown up's table. I've exactly two minutes, and you should be great. <laughs> so. And that's how you make a perfect risotto to the camera, finishing off one of his shows. And then Mrs. Child, welcome to the grown up check. Like, had to check the list to check that that was her name because he's forgotten because she's that irrelevant to him. Mrs. Child, welcome to the grown up's table. So you're still a child, like in your name. Welcome to the grown up's table now. You're in the big leagues. You're with the big boys. Like, when you're at a restaurant, well, like a party, and there's always a kid's table and an adult table. There's a kid, you're like, why? Now I understand it a bit more. <laughs> but welcome to the growth table. I've got exactly two minutes and you should be grateful. Do you reckon his rhymes in total then? Total like two minutes. Do you reckon that's sort of going to be a thing? I mean, I'm not going to time it, but there you go. I think that could be what it is. Right. This is Child. Welcome to the grown up table. I've got exactly two minutes and you should be grateful. Because I'm in the fucking weeds. With all these shows to pitch. I'll keep my ovens preheated. And my pilots greenlit. <laughs> Because I'm in the fucking weeds with all these shows to pitch. So if you know Gordon Ramsay, he's been in like a million shows. He's just in everything. So um, I've, he's got all these shows to pitch. I keep my ovens preheated, so they're always heated, ready to cook immediately. So he's ready to cook her in this battle. And my pilot's green lit. So obviously you have pilot light on an oven, which like tells you when it's ready to use and stuff. You've got your pilot light. But then a pilot of a show is like the first episode. Then if it's good, all the the network will go. Yeah, we want however many. So he's pitching all these shows. Pilot screen lit. The pilot light. Pilot of the show. Love it. Cooking with pebbles. I hope you're not actually using pebbles, as in with pebbles. I think I hope you mean pebbles is helping you cook. Not I'm in the fucking with all these shows. Street noodler. The pitch. I'll keep my oven. Key rescue. <laughs> So I'm a seasoned skillet. You're a Pam spray pan. Oh, Michelin star. You're like the Michelin man. <laughs> so I'm a seasoned skillet. You're a Pam spray pan. Um, so obviously a skillet is like you use it forever, and it's like over the year all the seasoning it builds up like a layer, and when you cook on it, you never wash it. You just cook on it, and it like keeps gives out more flavour, and it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, so he's a seasoned skillet, this beautiful, amazing thing. You're a Pam sprayed pan. So she's using like the spray fat to cook with. Um, well, she'd be using lard or butter. You know what she's like. Um, but yeah, I've got Michelin stars. You're like that Michelin man. So Michelin stars, obviously the highest like sort of praise a chef can get. Your restaurants get Michelin stars. It's like a proven, after so, there's only so many you can get. It's three, I think maybe. Maybe it's four. Uh, but yeah, he's got multiple Michelin star restaurants um, because he's an incredible chef and he's got all these incredible chefs making recipes he's created, um, essentially. Um, so he's got Michelin stars and he's going out of corner fat because obviously she likes to butter a lot. So she's going to be a bit of a chunkier girl. Um, Call her the Michelin man. You know, the tire man with all the rolls. I like it. Okay. I'm a seasoned skillet, you're a Pam spray pan Of Michelin stars, you're like the Michelin man I'm rolling in dough like beef wellington from Holleran And I'm shitting on you like I'm whack flowing I'm rolling in dough like beef wellington um, so yeah, rolling in dough. Dough obviously is not term for money. So I'm rolling in dough. Basically, I'm making all this fucking money, boys. I've got loads of fucking money. Um, like beef wellington. Beef wellington's a traditional British dish. I don't know if you get it a lot in America. Um, I know we'll be over there, obviously, but I don't think it's that thing, but, yeah. I'm rolling in dough like beef wellington. Rolling in dough like beef wellington from Holleran, and I'm shitting on you like I'm whack flows intolerant. Whack flows intolerant, playing on lactose intolerant. So he's saying her, her bars are going to be, her flows are going to be whack. So he's whack flows intolerant. Um, 
I like it. I just love shitting on you like I'm whack flows and tell them it's going to be shitting on a. It, it, the whack flows are going to make him shit. Um, and then shitting on you like he's shitting on her, making, beating her down, breaking her down. He's not done a lot of dissing so far, he's just sort of saying he's a god. <laughs> Also, the visuals in this. I like how it's like he's making a show and he's just like doing it while he's cooking and making his shows and stuff like all the production background. And then at the mo at the minute that at the moment there where it built up right to the thing, and there was like the fire in the background. He's literally in Hell's Kitchen, and then like all this aggression and. She cuts it back to, oh, isn't that a wonderful thing? She's not going to lie to his level. She's going to keep it calm and composed at her level. The way she feels is calm. The way she feels it. Let's go. Enough. I love I love her flow. It's so calm and chill, and it's nice. Um, a grumpy little chef who thinks he can bring enough stuff. <laughs> but yeah, she's called him grumpy because he's always angry and shouting and stuff. Um, he thinks he's got enough stuff to fuck with the butter loving queen of the bourguignon broth. So obviously that's French. It's like a beef sort of stew kind of dish, I believe. Um, I'm sure if. I don't know, one of you will let me know. But yeah, obviously, it's like a beef dish. So she's also saying she's got beef with him. She Like, he can't handle the butter-loving queen. Obviously, she cooked a lot with butter. She was fucking obsessed with butter. Um, and then, yeah, but she's got beef with him, and she's going to use that beef against him. And I stopped to justify getting wrong with the butter-loving queen of the Bourguignon bar. I rock hard as concrete on top of these bar meats. Been chopping the palm free since you sucked on your mom's teeth. <laughs> So I rock hard as concrete on top of these bomb beats. I like the way she's rising and and dropping. So bomb, uh, I drop hard as concrete on top of these bomb beats. Um, palm freaks and she sucked on your mom's teeth. Like a few different rise, rhyme schemes going on there um, to get it together. But yeah, she's saying she raps hard on top of these bomb. These beats are bomb. She's saying so. She's saying she's rocking hard. Uh, she's Dropping bar hard bars, hard as concrete, that you can't be broken. Um, and then she's making chips, pommes frites, obviously the French word for fries. Oh, well, French fries as Americans know it. Um, but I think it's like literally just called roasted potato, the translation. Um, since she sucked on your mum's teeth. So yeah, she was doing it when Gordon Ramsay, she was at her prime, when Gordon Ramsay was still a baby, or not even born. So you were still sucking on your mum's tits while I was killing the scene like damn concrete on top of these bomb meats been chopping the palm free since you sucked on your mom's teeth i served america beautifully and i sliced lard beautifully <laughs> my different lard was actually that easy to slice you're slicing lard fucking sticky and all stuff so <laughs> i served america beautifully and i i sliced lard beautifully so yeah she liked lard she liked her butter she it was very fatty her food in comparison to modern top day cooking since you sucked on your mom's tea I served America beautifully And I sliced lard beautifully And reign supreme oh, Fuck, she used the big bit Oh my fucking lord Oh, what was that? And I sliced lard beautifully And reign supreme From shark repellent to shark Wow, so I, uh, um, Shark repellent is a very relevant thing um, She basically helped I think it was, could have been World War One, World War Two, Something like that anyway Um but it might not even be the world war because it's just around one of the wars america i believe were having trouble with their submarines they were firing the missiles off but it kept hitting sharks or boats were firing missiles and shit it kept hitting sharks so she actually helped develop a shark repellent which is still used today to a degree um like to get the sharks away from the area so they had a clean strike onto the target with their missiles and it wouldn't hit a shark by accident uh, and then to from shark repellent to shark treasury i've heard i've seen that before um that word i think it's a way of preparing meat i believe i'm not 100 percent sure on that though <laughs> don't quote I me and so when it comes to hot 
cuisine. There's one F word, France. So, but she said hot as in H A U T E, I believe it's spelled. Um, but that's like sort of like cooking at the top level. So it's like specialist cooking and things like that. So when it comes to that, there's one F word, France, not but because he says so much. Like, fuck, 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 fuck. It's France because obviously she basically just brought all the French dishes into English language. So people are, like over here could cook them. Well, in America could cook them. Um, so yeah, when it comes to f- hard cuisine, there's one F word, France. And France obviously known for their high quality dishes and specialist dishes and things like that. So go and cross your arms in that b boy's dance, like he's in a rap battle, or like a, a a dance battle, and it's like yeah. <laughs> Cross your arms in that oh shit so here's an amuse boost so amuse boost is used a lot in restaurants um when you finish the dish you have it, it sort of like cleanses the palate so to say so here's an amuse boost take a take a poor abuse you so yeah gordon ramsay and his family um, when he was young they were all abused by their father. Um, so she's saying, you take a poor abused youth, uh, set a 30 year timer, like in her show she'd be like, set a timer for 30 minutes, but set a 30 year timer, and then voila, it's like it's done. Huge douche, she's saying, basically he was poor abused youth, and because he was abused as a child, he's become a massive arsehole. <laughs> take a poor abused youth, set a 30 year timer, voila! So right, you're a Namby Pansy Candy ass Nan Pansy Garden. You couldn't wrap your way out of a wrap your way out of a pastry bag. So a pastry bag obviously it's what you it's used to like force the stuff out and it's really thin. So she's saying his rhymes his raps are so weak he couldn't wrap his way out of a little pastry bag, which is for one week and for two trying to force things out of it. <laughs> So she's saying there, so she creates like joy and stuff like that. She cooks with love and thing, whereas he berates people, destroys them, brings them down. Um, and she's saying that cooking with love and joy makes it nicer than his berating his like his berating a uh, bad aggressive style. <laughs> It's the scrumptious and joy. She didn't really create a lot. She very much just sort of translated a lot of recipes over. She did have a few dishes on herself, I'm sure, but a lot of the stuff she did was French cooking she brought to the US. So, she didn't really create, but. Uh, hey, my dear boy, it's the scrumptious and joy! I'm glad you got that off your giant flabby chest. I'd call you donkey, but you look more like Shrek when the- <laughs> So I'm glad you got that off your giant flabby chest. So yes, yeah, physical the fat saying, glad you got that off your chest. Now listen to me. Um, I'd call you donkey because obviously so many shows go around call people donkey. You fucking donkey! <laughs> you fucking donkey! 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 It calls people donkeys. Um, so I'd call you donkey, but you look more like Shrek. So say so she's ugly, looks like an ogre. Damn. I'm glad you got that off your giant flabby chest. I'd call you donkey, but you look more like Shrek. When I love the personality in this. It's the aggression of Gordon and the chill, calm, reserved thing of Julia. They've got it down to a thing. I mean, uh, what's his name? Lloyd. He's dropping in and out of the accent, but I mean, he's American. He's not going to be the best at keeping the Scottish accent going. So he's doing doing a good enough job. I'm glad you got that off your giant flabby chest. I'd call you donkey, but you look more like Shrek. When the Iron Man chef busts a rhyme, I'll open up on you like a fine red wall. So, the Iron Man chef. So, Gordon Ramsay had a show for one called The Iron Chef, but the reason he said an Iron Man chef is he's said in a few interviews before he really loves doing fitness and stuff. So, Iron Man, he has done multiple Iron Mans, which is like a really intense, like, event. I forgot what it is now. It's too early for this shit. Um, but yeah, it's like a... I think it's like a triathlon of things, or it's over a really far run, like further than a marathon. But yeah, so he's the iron... It's not just the Iron Chef, he's the Iron Man Chef. Like Shrek, when the Iron Man Chef busts a rhyme, I'll open up on you like a fine red rhyme. So he'll open up on her like a fine red rhyme, so he's going to open up, like, unload all this 
these bars on her, but like a fine red wine. Like it's not gonna be some like little thing. It's gonna be like a fine, good thing hitting hard bars. So the bars are gonna be fine and sick and amazing. Nice. Oh, like Shrek when the Iron Man chef busts the rhyme, I open. Oh, they're spitting all the food out in the background of the bin and stuff. Like it's in Hell's Kitchen. On you like a fine red wine. I'm a culinary innovator. You're no creator. Regurgitating French plates like a glorified translator. I'm an innovator, you're no creator, you're just regurging French plates, like a glorified translator. So he's saying, I create all these amazing dishes, these incredible things, you don't create anything new, all you do is you get the French, all these French recipes, translate them to English, you're just a glorified translator that's doing it on TV, like you're not incredible at all, I'm a culinary innovator. Innovator, you're no creator. Regurgitating French plates like a glorified translator. I'm fresh, you're past your expiration date. I right, fuck it. Blue team, drop the bull, you play. Oh, I can't believe you just said that. So I'm fresh, so say it's fresh, top quality ingredient. It's fresh and thing, ready to go. You're past your expiration date. And obviously, she died in 2004, 2005, something like that. So, fuck me so you're past your expiration debt yeah, and then fuck it so obviously i told that from gordon blue team drop the bula base so obviously drop the base so the base is going to come now but this is like hell's kitchen blue team so they're all like yes yeah, chef <laughs> like listening to him phone is on drop the bula base i'm assuming that's a type of food um or cooking technique so fuck it blue team so he's got the blue team ready yes yeah, chef like they do in hell's kitchen love it you're past your expiration date. I right, ain't fuck it. Blue team, drop the bull, you play. Yes, yeah, I've seen your little show, when it sure ain't pretty. One part, big bird, two parts, Miss Piggy. You so, we're to one part. Big bird, two parts, Miss Piggy. So, we say she's like Big Bird, because Julie Tiles was like quite a bit over six foot. She was really tall, um, especially for a woman. So, he's saying she's like Big Bird. And then obviously bird is a British, well, British slang. Not so much now, but it used to be British slang, where Gordon's from Scotland, for a woman. So, big bird, put them both together. One part big bird, two parts Miss Piggy. So, he's going back to corner fat, saying she looks like Miss Piggy as well. There you go. <laughs> See your little show, it sure ain't pretty. One part, big bird, two parts, Miss Piggy. You can't test me with your fatty recipes. Call your book master in the art of heart disease. I mean oh, wow. So, um, you can't test me with your fatty recipes. So, saying you can't even cook, compete with me when your recipes are just full of fat and shit like that. Um, call your book the uh, Mastering the Art of Heart Disease. So, Julia Child's most famous book was called Mastering the Art of French Cooking, I believe, or just Mastering the Art of Cooking. Um, there was some mad madass recipes in there as well, apparently. Um, so yeah, um, so you can't test me if your recipes. Call your book mastering the art of heart disease because your all your recipes are full of butter and lard and crap like fat like that. That it's just gonna give everyone heart disease. <laughs> yeah, that's in there. So I love all the way it's like. Um, I mean, it's rubbish. Yes, chef! Like, we're still responding to him, like, they're listening to him, following all his orders. I mean, it's rubbish, yes, chef! I mean, it walks I mean, it's rubbish. Yes, chef! Look at page four! Look at page 408. So, yeah, uh, I don't know if it's page 408. I assume it is. I've done the research, I'm sure. Um, but who the fuck wants to cut calf brains? That is a genuine recipe that's in her book. I've heard that before. She genuinely has a recipe to cut calf brains, which is fucking psychotic. But who the fuck wants to cook that? Like, look at your... Look at page four. Who the fuck wants to cook that? What's wrong with you? Sort of thing. So you think these rhymes are raw? Obviously, raw bars are hard hitting, sick bars. Uh, they're stale and soft. They're bad. They're shit. They're dead. And it's like you call these rhymes raw, or the or the chef's like, no chef, like. And then they're stale and soft. And now here, take this jacket. So obviously the jackets in Hell Kitchen are a big thing. If he takes your jacket, you're out of Hell's Kitchen. You're eliminated. You call this oh, oh, they're stale and soft. Now here, take this jacket. And it's doing like the intense cuts to the different faces when it happens as well. Now get 
and the sizzling to like cut the tension to build it up. Now give it back and fuck off! Yeah, so give it back and fuck off. So he takes your jacket, you're not good enough, and fuck off! Obviously Gordon tells people to fuck off all the time, but there's been a few times in Hell's Kitchen specifically where he's gone, like he's been like, give me your jacket, fuck off out of Hell's Kitchen, like just because he's fucking sick of them. So yeah, now give it back and fuck off! So you've done well for yourself, Michelin indeed. So yeah, you've got Michelin stars. You've got all this. You're amazing. Didn't you mention the Michelin stars more the first, like first, first though rather than the second one? But fine, it's fine. We'll, we'll let her have it. <laughs> Michelin indeed. You've done well for yourself, but as a person, you couldn't get a star on Yelp. So yeah, obviously saying she, you're such a cunt and arrogant and horrible to different people that on Yelp where you regularly review restaurants. If you were a person on there, you couldn't get one star because you're a horrible person. But he's actually not. He's actually quite funny, quite a nice guy. He's just, when he's cooking, he's in that zone, I guess. Michelin. And I've got this in the bag. Sous vide. So, sous vide, I believe, is a type of cooking where you put... It's a way of preparing meat, I believe. I believe you put it in a bag, boil it, like, in a pan of water in the bag, and then it's ready to use. So, I assume that's why I've got this in the bag. Sous so yeah, she's got it in the bag, this battle in the bag. You've done well for yourself, but as a person, you couldn't get a star on you. I could freeze a steak with those frosted tips. What's with that bitter taste in every word from your lips? <laughs> so yeah, with the frosted tips he has, um, I could freeze a steak with them, because frosted, obviously like a freezer, he could, she could freeze a steak of it. What's that bitter taste with every word from your lips? So basically saying, every, you're just bitter of everyone else, you're a bitter man. So every word you think has a, needs a bit of taste in the mouth, and everyone, you're just bitter. Horrible person, basically, she's saying. Oh, I could freeze a steak with those frosted tips. What's with that bitter taste in every word from your lips? You scream at women, but the fix that you're pitching make you the busiest bitch in the kitchen. So, you, fr you scream at women while the fix that you're pitching. So you're scre like you screaming at women, but the fit that you're pitching. So obviously he's pitching all these shows and he's pitching the aggression and stuff and the bitching he's going to be doing in it. So that makes you the pissiest bitch in the kitchen. So you're screaming at women in the kitchen, and obviously the thing she's playing off the thing of when she was alive, it's like women belong in the kitchen. Um, but it makes you the pissiest bitch in the kitchen with all the screams you're pitching, like screaming and stuff. Yeah, you're the pissiest bitch there by far. You scream at women, but the fits that you're pitching make you the busiest bitch in the kitchen. I'll pat you on the head, melt you, and stick it to you. I'll pat you on the head, melt you and stick it to you. So they're all butter references. You get a pat of butter, it's like a certain amount of butter. So I'll pat you on the head, melt you, that's another way of preparing butter that she would have done a lot, and stick it to you. So obviously butter's quite sticky, but also you get sticks of butter. So I'll pat you on the head, melt you and stick it to you. But that's what she says she's going to do to him. Like butter, she's going to melt him. She's going to melt these bars, make them fire, and then she'll fucking hit him with them. Stick him on him. Anything's good with enough butter. Oh, yeah. Anything's good with enough butter. I mean, I can't imagine calf brains are nice with butter, but obviously she loves butter. But she put butter on everything. So she's gonna. She's saying butter's like God. Anything's good enough with it. The head of a chicken. The poor thing. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm so glad you spent this time with me. No, eat a dick. Bon appetit. <laughs> so. Um, oh, I'm so glad you spent this time with me. Which is, how I believe she ended all her shows. She's like, I'm so glad you spent this time with me. Bye. Um, so, I'm so glad you spent this time with me, playing into her character. Now eat a dick. Bon appetit. So she's telling her to eat a dick, and then bon appetit is obviously, I think it's enjoy your meal in French, but it's like, we all know what bon appetit means. Oh, I really enjoyed that, guys. I really hope you did too. Let's get down into the breakdown of who won. Yeah, guys, so I really, really enjoyed that one. Really good. I love Gordon Ramsay as well. So having him in an ERB just absolutely slapped. But yeah, guys, that was really good. Um, 
it's going to be hard to pick up one. I think I'm going to give it Julia Charles. I'm sorry, Gordon. I think she just had more rhymes attacking him and thing. And the flow she had and the calmness, the personality in it, I really loved. They absolutely smashed it out of the park. Once again, ERB. But yeah, I absolutely loved that one, guys. I hope you did too. Let me know who you thought won, because um, it was a close one. Um, but yeah, I think I'm giving it to Julia myself. Um, I hope you didn't go, guys. If you did, comment your favourite bars down below. Who won? Subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you next time. Peace.